Welcome back, Camille. It is three days, four days till Christmas. Are you a reindeer? Look at your nose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Giddy reindeer. Hello, guys. I can't see. Go out, watch out. Hello. The girls are both officially on winter break. Coco's last day was yesterday. Didi's last day was today. Technically, she has a half day tomorrow, but I'm not taking her because tomorrow morning. I'm gonna say hi. It's my birthday when Christmas is over. That's true. How old are you gonna be? Mama, when Six. is my birthday? After Coco's and no. mine. No, where, where am I I'm gonna be in my birthday? You're gonna be four. No, where, uh, where I'm gonna be is gonna be Christmas and over, and my birthday is gonna be in Christmas. Your birthday is not on Christmas, your birthday is in May. Whose birthday is it first when your birthday is done? After my birthday? Yeah. Your birthday. Yay! And you're gonna be how old? Four and five. Not four and five, you only get one. You're gonna be four, then five next. Yeah. I'm gonna get an iPad. You're gonna get an iPad when you're five? Yeah. I'm gonna get an iPad when I'm six. I'm sorry to break it to you. Nobody's getting an iPad for their birthday. Maybe when you're like 17. Tomorrow we're gonna go drive to Kiki's house, Landon's mom. Landon's mom is gonna come. Landon's mom is Kiki, that's daddy's mom. That means right now we're getting ready to go, packing bags. It's actually a Christmas tradition in my family growing up for us to have spaghetti dinner. This is our first year celebrating like a full Christmas with his family. So we're not gonna be doing my family's traditions this year. So I figured we would do a spaghetti dinner tonight, the night before we leave town instead. There's also cookies that I cook every year that I have not made yet, so I think I'm gonna try and make that when I get there. And yeah, we're just in the holiday spirit. Honestly, this Christmas season has been pretty non-traditional. I've really just been <laughs> going with the flow, meaning that I've been just handing out presents. I didn't really wrap anything. I don't know, especially because we're leaving town and I know that they have presents waiting for them at their grandparents' house. I figured I would just give them all of my presents now and not have to drive up there with a trunk full of stuff. So yeah, they've already gotten their big present, which was, what did you get? Car. A car, a little toy car. Not very little, it's big. It's like, you know, the kind that they can drive around in. I had a car like that when I was little. It was a Barbie one. Yeah, it's a little pink Jeep, and they take turns running each other over. Coco already got a pretty nasty cut on her elbow because Dee Dee ran her over. Can I, can I see you show them? Yeah, poor girl. No, nope, it's on the other one. Aww. They also got a few things in the mail. Can I show them? Yeah, sure, show them. <laughs> That's not from the mail. I'm, I know. That's not what I was talking about. There's more to come and there's stockings from Santa. So there's still a lot of Christmas magic to look forward to. There are a few presents I need to pack up and bring there. So I need to get that stuff together. Yeah, there's a million things to do before we leave tomorrow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. What, you skipped 20. So I thought we had spaghetti noodles. Turns out we only have shells, but it is still looking good. But I do have garlic bread. All right, let's eat. Come on, everybody. No, that's mine. The kids are asleep. I've made some good progress. My friend Cody came over for a while because he was dropping off my Christmas present. He is an artist and he drew a picture of me. So we hung out while I packed my bags and I am almost ready to go. I'm getting the last few things packed up, which includes the Christmas present that I got for my in-laws. I would like to thank Aerogun for sponsoring today's video. The number one thing 
that just kills my motivation when it comes to getting in a workout routine is just knowing how sore I'm gonna be the next day. Like that part to me is worse than the actual workout. Like I can work out and go hard, but in the back of my mind, I know I'm like the harder I go at this, the more it's gonna hurt tomorrow. And I've got things to do tomorrow. That is why the Aerogun massage gun has been a lifesaver for me. Aerogun uses air cushion technology that adjusts the massage hardness based on your body. It is powered by a super powerful yet silent motor. And it is exactly what my body needs while I recover from an intense workout. It comes in a zip up case with all different kinds of attachments, making it very easy to store. It all fits in here perfectly, and it has a very ergonomic design, making it really easy to reach places that you just wouldn't be able to reach on your own. My favorite attachment is probably this one, just because it is so perfect for my shoulders and getting the knots out. It just slides right in like that, and I can just reach right over, and it helps right away oh my god i've been running around packing all day and this is so nice and it has multiple speeds as you can see i'm consistently having problems with my shoulders just with all the stuff i have to carry as a mom taking the kids in and out of the car seat giving them piggyback rides carrying their backpacks for them after a long day with the kids my shoulders feel like i just did an intense hour of weight training. Before getting the arrow gun, I used to ask the kids to massage my back for me because sometimes it just hurts that bad and their little hands are just not powerful enough at all to alleviate the pain. So ever since getting the Aerogun massage gun, the kids love to use it on my back. It's fun for them and actually leaves me feeling as good as new. Ready for yet another day of rock climbing, yoga, and being a mom. After four hours in the car tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna want a moment with this thing. Another place where I find myself using it a lot is my lower back. I'm a tiny person. I'm only five feet tall and I carried two pregnancies. It was was really hard on my body and I've experienced lower back pain ever since. My favorite attachment to help with that is this one. I just put it right here and here and just kind of do it on each side and it hits that muscle right in the perfect spot. When I'm on my period, my back pain gets so much worse and I don't know what I would do without the arrow gun. Going back and forth between my heating pad and my arrow gun and back to my heating pad and back to my arrow gun that is what gets me through those first few days where my back is just killing me. Since I've loved it so much, I decided to gift one to my mother-in-law. Her and her husband love the gym. They are super active people, so I think it would be the perfect gift for them. So if you wanna grab one for yourself or as a gift to someone else, use my exclusive code CAM30 for 30% off your Aerogun massage gun. Click the link in my description to check it out and don't forget that this sale is for a limited time only. Thank you to Aerogun for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this gift and get the very last things in the car so that way we can leave in the morning, no problem. The faster we leave, the less traffic we'll run into. So I'm gonna try and get some good sleep. Where are we? Where are we? And we are in the bathroom. Whoa, well, at whose house? Kiki's house. And what day is it? Christmas. Christmas Eve. <laughs> Show us your outfit and your hair. Who did it? Um, yeah, my mom. Hey guys, Didi's doing a video of me. Yeah. This is my outfit. <laughs> but I'm being mean to her. What? <laughs> I'm being mean to you. Oh, you're being mean to me? Yeah. I'm doing my makeup. This is my... Is no, it? that's not your makeup. <laughs> this is my mascara. No, it... that's not... <laughs> Why is it not my makeup? Excuse me. It is. It's Kiki. That's my, my makeup, not Kiki's. <laughs> Anyways, it's Christmas Eve and we're getting ready because everyone's about to be here. And yeah! And today we're gonna do presents and in the morning we're gonna look at what Santa put in our stockings. Yeah! Yeah! I'm waiting for it. I see me. You see you? Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. 
So what did you want Santa to put in your stocking? A baby doll. A baby doll? Yeah. Cute. I want some new mascara because I don't like this mascara. I hope I don't get coal in my stocking. Yeah. Would you think I was a good girl this year or naughty? What do you think? I think you're a good girl when you're um, naughty. I'm going to do a Dee Dee's makeup. and telling me that I can't have it. <laughs> yeah. She hides my underwear, she hides my socks, she hides everything from me and says, you can't have it. <laughs> Sneaky little elf. Yeah, I'm an elf. You're an elf? Yeah. You look like an elf, look at your outfit. <laughs> Can the elf add an outfit? I'll swear red. What are you doing? Your makeup? Yeah. You already have makeup on. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be too red. <laughs> you already are blushing. Yeah. You're so cute. Can I have a kiss? You want my lipstick? <laughs> Thank you. That's enough. Thank you. That's a poop. Let me get some makeup. I'm all ready and done with. My makeup. I just need my hair to dry so I could do something to it. I don't really know what the plan is. Honestly, I'm just going with the flow. This is our first year spending our entire Christmas with Landon's family. We usually split it in half and then I go back to my grandma's for Christmas day. But this year we're doing it Clifford style. And I have no idea what that even really means. But remember how I was saying how we make spaghetti on Christmas Eve in my family. Kelly remembered that and decided to make spaghetti for me because they don't really have like a super traditional thing that they cook other than just like the basic like, you know, Christmas dinner. But no one's really keen on like having that. So they decided to do a little bit of Turner style and I thought that was so sweet. So we will be having more pasta tonight. You excited? Yeah, with my toys. I love, I love my toys that much. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get more toys. Yeah! <laughs> I needed you. Why? Look. You did your makeup? Wow. <gasps> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
icon today. Santa yeah, do you want to see my stocking? <gasps> look, look what I got. Bro, I got <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, no. Can you look? Can you look? Oh. I don't have no idea. Bro, look at like this, but it's small. other presents I talked to him and I was like you know what I'll just get a flying fairy for her birthday because her birthday's so soon after. Oh yeah. Yeah. Coco I got a jump rope. Oh my gosh. Do you know how to do that? I got a jump rope too. Oh my goodness you did it. <laughs> my name is Minnie Mouse. I practice at school. You practice? Now you have a jump rope, so you can jump rope all the time and practice however you, much you want. I can't. No one teach me how to do it. You will learn. Now you have your own jump rope to learn with. Here, Didi, keep opening. You still have more stuff in here. Do I? No. I got a teddy bear, too. Yeah, it's a teddy bear. Oh, my little baby. Yeah, this is my pet teddy bear. Merry Christmas. It's a happy new year. And a happy new year. Oh. It's a happy new year. Where's my lollipop? I have no idea what is this. Help me. Cotton candy. Bro, can you get it? And that wraps up Christmas. I am back home in Austin. It's raining super hard and girls have just been playing with their toys. We spent Christmas day at Lynn's dad's house and they have like four Pekingese, four Aussie type dogs. There was so many dogs so we didn't bring Ozzy but Ozzy's brother was there and he looks identical to Ozzy. So no one really even noticed his absence. <laughs> and then we drove home and now we're just resting after all the chaos. I liked this Christmas a lot. It was just so chill and relaxed and so nice to spend it with family. Well, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, Kimley.